YouTube, the platform we all depend on to get our entertainment from, was created on December 15th, 2005, and actually began as a dating slash hookup site. Yeah. Look it up. Throughout the years, it's not only become the livelihood of many, but it's also the second most visited website of all time right behind Google, which just so happens to own YouTube. But with so many people on the website, there are bound to be some disturbing scenarios. Make sure to sit back, relax, grab a snack, and today on the channel, we'll be talking about YouTube's darkest mysteries. Creepy search bar results. I just want to give a quick shout out to Dallas from the Tech It Realm and Nick Crowley because I use their videos as guides and I ended up combining and adding some of my own topics into this video. So please make sure to subscribe to them. I'll have links in the description to both of their channels along with all my other sources. Anyway, earlier this year in 2021, a new discovery was made which involved typing a period into the search bar and then getting a bunch of these random results. As we all know, the search bar recommends the most popular phrases depending on what letter or word you type into the search bar. But when you would type period, it was just random emails emojis and other languages. And when clicking one of these autofill results, many creepy videos would pop up. We're talking about things that cannot be uploaded to YouTube. Videos meant to scare children, and other random videos. From what I could tell, it seemed like when this became popular, a lot of kids were just abusing it and then making their own creepy videos, you know, trying to be trendy. They would just upload their own creepy videos, like little art projects. But that was early 2021. As of now, YouTube has actually patched this. So yeah, don't go out of your way to try this because you're, uh, you're gonna ruin my watch time. So don't leave the video, <laughs> go, go try this after. So since YouTube patched it, I've been using Dallas's footage. So shout out to Dallas again, go subscribe to him. The question here though is why? I mean, what's the point of all of this? Well, a user on Reddit that claims to be a frequent user of the deep web actually said this. I'm a user who frequently goes on the onion sites and deep web networks for my own entertainment. In doing this for years, I know all the ways in the book on how to remain secure and safe. What I have found are multiple websites that share their privately available videos featuring Red Room and gruesome type content ranging from CP to terrorism all the way to edgy cursed art projects that are readily uploaded to YouTube and are public. Most of them are simple embeds. How do they get away with it? A flaw in the YouTube system of detecting content, periods and emojis. All these sickos do is upload their content metadata with these additions and makes them virtually unidentifiable. Only being removed once enough viewers find it and manually report. So yeah, unless you want a literal link to the most disturbed portions of the dark web straight from YouTube, don't search things with a period in front, especially with emojis. So yeah, it was most likely a way for these people to just hide their videos from coming up in search results but keeping them public. I'm assuming it's just to not be detected in a YouTube's algorithm, to not even pop up in recommended, just the video is there on the channel, public, and available for anyone you share it with. Honestly, I think that's pretty stupid considering there's an option to literally upload videos unlisted, which means anyone with the link can watch the video unless that doesn't work for embedding. But I mean, you could literally upload your video to another platform such as Vimeo. I don't understand uh, the reasoning for this. YouTube still has one more thing to worry about. Yes, that's right. A slash. As I was testing out what characters would show the same results, I discovered that the new way to access these weird results is by typing a slash. Believe me, the videos are still extremely odd, though some are more mainstream than not. As you can see, we have some videos talking about the topic and some other videos such as a uh, zombie girl escape pregnancy prank battle with 78 million views. Yeah, who, who's the audience, bro? These, these have to be kids that just get their iPad and look up zombie girl or I don't even 78 million. You guys know how much money this person made? Like. They're, they're good for the rest of their lives. Sorting by newest appears with this screen. It's very likely that the YouTube team are aware of this and are actively trying to prevent it. Mariana Mortegard Glesgorv. This video was uploaded onto YouTube in January of 2008. The video shows a red man staring at the camera with some weird chimes in the background, and during the last two seconds of the video, the video zooms in and shows him smiling. Very creepy. The original video from 2008 was uh, taken down due to violating community guidelines. I don't know why either. I guess we'll never find the actual raw version. The furthest we can go back is a video re-uploaded in April of that year. 2008. There's a chance you may have heard of this video or seen this man because it's an OG creepypasta. The story goes like this. <clears throat> Beware, it's extremely corny. The full video lasts two minutes and was removed by YouTube after 153 people who viewed the video gaped out their eyes and mailed them to <laughs> and mailed them to YouTube's main office in San Bruno. Said people had also committed in various ways. It is not yet known how they managed to mail their eyes after gaging them out. The cryptic inscription they carved on their forearms has not yet been this <laughs> has not yet been deciphered. YouTube will periodically put up the first 20 seconds of the video to quell suspicions so that people will not look for the real thing and upload it. The video itself was only viewed by one YouTube staff member who started screaming after 45 seconds. 
The man is now under constant sedation and is apparently unable to recall what he saw. The people who were in the same room as him while he viewed it turned off the video for him and said all they heard at the time was a high-pitched drilling sound. None of them dared to look at the screen. The person who uploaded the video was never found, the IP address being non-existent, and the man in the video has never been identified. Yeah, like I said, uh, very, very corny. I mean, uh, the fact that... <laughs> what, is, what, is this, what is this, bro? Did, was this our creepy pauses back in the day? I feel like kids these days have, like, some crazy detailed stuff. This is what we had. This is what... Oh, my God, bro. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's stupid, and it's not real. But, um... Actually, we do know who the man is. Uh, the man has been identified. Now, I'm not going to say his actual name for privacy reasons, but he's just an average man from Guatemala. The image was used in a 2004 survey about marketing professionals as an example of web design. Here's what the original image looks like. I put the link of the April 2008 re-upload onto Wayback Machine and went to the earliest screenshot, that being May 7th of 2008. As you can see in the recommended tab, there's a video with the OG picture unedited. So I clicked that and I copied the original link and I put that into my current Chrome, right? And that video was actually taken down due to violating YouTube's terms of service. I don't know what these videos contained that made YouTube like, oh no, 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 bro. We need to take this down. But uh, oh yeah, I remember why. It's because 153 people gauged their eyes out. 2020 Vision. In March of this year, a channel by the name of 2020 Vision rose in popularity for predicting celebrities' deaths using some creepy blinking eye. The most popular being that of Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace, Kobe. The videos were freaky because they were all uploaded in 2017 and were all 100% correct. Many people were amazed, shocked, and downright offended by these videos. People soon began to find out exactly what the person behind the account did. But why let me explain it when the man himself made a video explaining everything in full detail? This was my way of coming clean and telling everyone, yeah, they were fake. If you watch any of those old videos, they contain every date, every month, and every year from 2017 to 2021 and I just went to the people that died and cropped out the bits that weren't needed to give the illusion that I had actually predicted these dates accurately when in reality I'm just a fraud. So the way that I got this massive list of celebrities was through the Wikipedia API. I wrote a script that would basically go crawling through Wikipedia and give me a list of every single person who had a Wikipedia page. Then it was a case of scraping their date of birth from there, you know, checking if they'd already died. I didn't want people that had already died. Checking the page views and organizing them into this big long list of five and a half thousand people and then I had to write this other bot that would go on Wikipedia every day and check to see if any of them had died and then I just have to go to that video and edit it and leave it unlisted until 2021 and you know you know the rest so yeah the whole thing was part of an ARG which means alternate reality game which if you don't know is a series of puzzles which are meant to be solved in a role-playing manner they're fake scenarios you play in real life just to have fun that's it so this was all for the people playing right his little audience and then eventually it went mainstream just because I think it was really cool what he did and I understand why it went mainstream it was amazing at the time right when no one knew what he actually did the creator live streamed himself solving all the puzzles to the ARG ARG on his second YouTube channel. Verified channels that comment under every popular video. Once you reach 100,000 subscribers, you are eligible for the verified check mark next to your name. This is so no one can impersonate you and it provides a sense of reliability. It also boosts your comment whenever you comment under a video. It boosts it all the way to the top. Why is that? Um, I personally don't know, but I'm assuming it's because YouTube trusts the verified users and they're like, alright, we'll put you at the top because we trust you. Though you may have seen some, uh, common names under the comment section of almost every video. That includes the likes of some randoms named Short Hacks, Risky, Rip, Damn, and a ton of others. They always copy and paste comments and leave some half-assed compliments. Buddy, we know you're only doing this so people click on your page and then go to your account. Some of them have tried commenting on my videos, but I always hide them from the channel using the YouTube comment manager. No, bro, like you guys are just leeches and all they do is leech off of other people's hard work and content and just comment something and wait for people to, uh, because out of curiosity, we're gonna check a verified channel out. I mean, it's just how it is. If you guys are YouTubers and you see these comments, make sure to just delete them. Don't give them the clout they want. Anyway. Clicking their channel, you'll usually see a who is and then their name video with some Minecraft gameplay. I'm not surprised they're that unoriginal either. And they always say the same thing. I used to have a lot of subscribers, but then I gave up on YouTube and I deleted my videos. And now I just have this one video on the channel with a ton of subscribers. Yeah, no. We all know you bought those accounts. These people go to OGusers.com, go to Browse, Stat Accounts, Stat YouTube Channels, and what do you see? Oh yeah, 
people selling verified channels for about $1,500. These are just kids buying accounts with daddy's money. How did these accounts get the subs? Well, they could just be botted or they can be old YouTubers, genuine YouTubers that just gave up on their passion. They gave up on YouTube, right? And they just sold their account to random people. Yeah, all you gotta do to sell your account is just give them the email and password. I, in some cases, I think most cases, you have to give them the original email too. So that's kinda, imagine giving someone your entire email, like, ew. Either way, these commenters, all they rely on is other people's content to grow. I bet they're the type of kids that call themselves social media gurus or like teenage marketers or some stupid shit. No, you're just a leech. Daniel Silly. All right, I'll give you guys the too long didn't read version of this because I don't want to waste my breath on predators, let alone people that prey upon children. Daniel Silly is a man who owned a YouTube channel where he would basically harass random women in the streets of Los Angeles and make them extremely uncomfortable. Hi, girl, hi. I like you. I like you. Happy New Year. What's your name? Amanda. Amanda? I'm Daniel. <laughs> no, thank you. Do you like me? No. I, I like you, obviously. Wait. Hello? Bye. Happy New Year. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to play any more clips, but all I'll say is that some of the girls looked really, really, really young in those videos. And guess what? Daniel Silly is a registered sex offender and has charges for both women and children. A Bay Area community is reacting tonight to a man who once called himself the downtown LA predator. He's now living in their neighborhood. Daniel Patrick Silly is a high-risk sex offender who has moved to Ronert Park. He actually got confronted by someone while he was making one of his little stupid videos, and I'll play that clip now. Here's Dan harassing people in 85 degrees. So this man is known for harassing women across downtown while filming himself, and he videotapes himself and he posts it on the YouTube. So, really? yeah, he is a major creep. I wouldn't talk to him if I were you. Oh, okay. Thanks for your opinion. It's everybody's opinion down here, Dan. We all hate you. Everybody. Every single person in downtown hates you. Every single person in downtown knows who you are and hates you. While doing research, I found a new channel by Daniel Silly. In these videos, he just talks over a black screen, and if he does go outside, he's not really talking to anyone, which, yeah, I mean, that's good, but uh, he still makes videos acting like a complete degenerate towards women. Not directly, more so indirectly, but I mean, just look at this title. Why do females waste their reproductive years when reproduction is how to be happy? The biggest mystery here is why YouTube hasn't taken down a literal sex offenders channel. David G. Sardison. This was a mysterious channel that had about 8,000 videos on it, all almost being exactly identical. This channel would post about seven videos per day, and it was just someone recording their TV for about two to four minutes at a time. The original channel is nowhere to be found, but it seems he made another one where he continued uploading. Though something was different. No longer was David in his room, but now would seem to be a hospital. As the videos go on, we see the camera become shakier and shakier. None of these videos include commentary, just titles with the name of the show, the date, a description of the games played, and the answers to the puzzles. Thanks to Nick Crowley's research, again, link in the description to his channel and his videos, we found out this post on a website about a man with the exact same name. Sardison David Glenn, 1966 to 2019. It is with heavy hearts that we announce the death of our beloved David. He is the dearly loved special son of Mary Sardison and the late H. Glenn Sardison. Cherished brother of Kimberly Chen, dear uncle to Lindsay Wheeler and Andrew Mullen, great uncle to Logan Ella and Penelope Wheeler. He leaves many aunts on uncles and cousins. David's hope was that he would reach his full potential in the new system promised in Revelation chapter 21. No visitation or service is planned, but a private family graveside service will be held in the spring. Our appreciation to the nurses on the second floor of St. Vincent's for their care of David and Dr. Udon, whose visits David always enjoyed. Misha Boo. Hi you guys! Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute dress. 31 year old Tamisha Ridge, who went by Misha Boo on YouTube, was a YouTuber who dedicated her videos to teaching others how to sew and create their own clothing on a budget. She presented herself as a lovely young woman who really had a passion for her craft and helping others. She also had an Etsy shop where she would share her creations. Suddenly, Tamisha stopped uploading. News came around that when Tamisha was sleeping in her Sacramento home, her ex boyfriend snuck into her house, walked to her room, and shot and killed her with a sawed-off shotgun. Her three kids and current boyfriend 
or in the house when it happened. But her life abruptly came to an end Wednesday morning when she was shot in her South Sacramento home. Homicide investigators say Tamisha's ex-boyfriend, Demishlo Green, snuck into her bedroom and opened fire while she slept. Several relatives and her three children were inside the home. This idiot was sentenced to 75 years in prison, and I'm pretty sure he's going to die in there because he's like probably like 30 when he went in. So yeah, he's going to rot in there, and I'm glad he is. YouTube website clones. There's a difference between YouTube clones and YouTube alternatives. YouTube alternatives could be websites such as Vimeo, Dailymotion, Twitch, Odyssey. But I want to talk about foreign YouTube clones that directly rip from YouTube and YouTube content creators. Here we have trvid.com, a Turkish YouTube clone. Let's look up Tub on the search bar. Oh, hey, that kind of looks like my channel. I mean, the banner is stretched to hell, but all my videos ever since my blow up are there. Yeah, it doesn't go past a few months ago, which is when my videos really started getting about 100,000 views per video. This is another reason why I think it's scummy. It's like, bro, get my videos that have 300 views on there. How about that? But no, they know they don't get clicks. Anyway, clicking one of these videos, it actually works, except it's only embedded from YouTube. The description is the exact same, but the people somehow remove the Google ads from the creator's videos and replace them with their own. Yes. They're getting money from every YouTube content creator's work and putting their own ads on them. Like, these aren't Google AdSense ads. These are their own web page ads. I don't know exactly how legal this is, but I'm sure YouTube does not like this. Not only that, but you can download videos straight from their website. You know how we go to YouTube to mp4.com? Well, no. This one just has the download option right there in full 720p. Though it's not only Turkey doing this. It's also Russia. Here's another YouTube clone site that goes by ru-clip.net. Literally exactly the same thing, even the horrible banner. Hey, yo, someone make my banner HD over there. <laughs> and it only goes as far down as to when my video started getting a minimum of 100,000 views per video. Whoa, what a coincidence. It's crazy how they even get the comments on there too. But look, I don't really know how much money they're stealing from content creators. I don't know how much traffic these websites get. I don't know if they're popular over there in Russia or popular over there in Turkey. I'm, I'm pretty sure YouTube is everywhere, so, except China. Yeah, I'm not sure how much money they're stealing from creators, but, uh, I hope it's not a lot. <laughs> I'm sure there are more of these websites for each country, and, uh, I just can't wait to sue them. <laughs> Before this video ends, make sure to leave a like. We're trying to hit 40,000 likes. And also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And a big shout out to all these beautiful names on the screen. Those are all my patrons. I love every single one of you. I love you guys a little bit more than my actual subs. I'm just kidding. I love you guys all equally. I'll see you guys next time I upload.